Indian Textpreneurs Federation ITF is one of India's most dynamic textile industry associations and aims at making Indian textile sector globally competitive through the theme of collaborative growth and cooperative competition. ITF represents the entire value chain of textile manufacturing with a member base of 510 companies and a combined annual sales of 40,000 crore rupees. ITF has initiated several projects in its journey of empowering members in achieving manufacturing excellence and become competitive in the domestic and global markets. ITF Tutorial Videos is a series of educational videos developed by professionals from ITF on best practices on shop floor. You are watching the training video for the Ring Frame Duffer. Duffers must come 20 minutes prior to the beginning of the shift. Duffers must wear the uniform or formal dress as approved by the management. Duffers must wear face mask, cap, apron or hip bags. To ensure workplace safety, doffers must not wear long neck chains, bangles, rings, etc. Doffers should get to know from the previous shift doffers whether there are any stoppages, changes or follow-ups to attend to. Doffers must check the cleanliness of the department and ensure its good housekeeping. If any cops or bobbins are spilled on the floor during doffing, they must be taken out immediately. If there are any shift meetings at the beginning of the shift, listen to all instructions given and clarify all doubts. Ensure that the trolley wheels are clean and are rotating freely. If required, doffers should help in making up for the machine with higher breakages in the department. At the beginning of the shift, doffers should check the bobbin, crate stock and inform the higher officials promptly. Doffers should check the color code and ensure it is properly followed. Doffers should only take full doff. They should not take short doff without the permission of the higher official. Doffers must ensure that empty cops are stacked properly in the box. If not, they must arrange them properly. Before stopping the machine for doff, doffers must piece all the broken ends and attend to any spindles that are running idle. Doffers must plan the doffing sequence in such a way that only one machine of a particular doff group is stopped at a time. Before doffing, Ensure that the OHTC is stopped at the end of the machine. The machine should be stopped for doffing only after all the doffers arrive at the machine and to their positions. Doffers should not change the doff length in the display. Doffers must ensure that the starting position from the cop bottom is 10 mm. While doffing, if lappets are not tilted fully, doffers must correct them. If required, the separators may be tilted before doffing. Doffers must ensure that single spindle doffing and replenishing is followed. Empty bobbins must be held in the right hand and doffing must be taken in left hand. Doffers should take as much empty cops as possible in their right hand. Doffers should not use different sized empty cops. Doffers should not use damaged empty cops. Doffers must ensure that empty bobbins are pressed properly in the spindle. All the doffers must have synchronized their doffing speed to ensure that they complete the doff at almost the same time. This will avoid unnecessary stoppage of the machine. Doffers should ensure that empty bobbins are inserted in all spindles. Doffers can restart the machine only after all the spindles are doffed. Doffers may remove loose yarns from the lappet hook, if any, after starting the machine. Cops may be taken out from the spindle only after applying knee brake or after stopping the spindle. If the spindle buttons are missing, doffers must inform higher official. While gating, 
Doffer should ensure that the height of the layers are within the chaste length. Doffers should not attempt double gating or over piercing. Doffers must ensure that all the spindles are pieced and running before leaving the machine after completing the doff. Doffers should collect all ring cops and bobbins that fall down during doffing. If any bobbins come out from the spindle during doffing, doffers must inform the PO. Ring cops must be put into the doffing basket carefully. In case there is an identification slip system in place, it must be strictly followed. Doffers must ensure that there is no idle spindle in the machine. Doffers must ensure that the full cops are stored just below the box top so that the bottom of the box does not contain cops when the boxes are stacked one above other. Doffers must ensure that doffs are taken with minimum stoppage time. If the startup brakes are higher, doffers must inform the PO. During doffing, doffers must take care not to press the empty doffs on the sensors and ducts. Doffing and roving bobbin trolleys should be handled carefully so as not to damage the sensor ducts. During the lot change or count change, doffers should ensure that the correct bobbin color and correct lot roving is being creeled. While starting a new lot or count change, doffers must check with higher officials as to which parent yarn must be used for gating. While gating the roving, minimum length of roving must be taken. Doffers should not throw roving waste, yarn waste, lapping waste onto the floor. Doffers must keep the cup baskets and trolleys at the allocated places. Doffers must provide adequate space for free movement of OHTC of adjacent machines. Lunch intervals should be adhered to promptly as per the instruction from PO, SPO. Doffers should not go outside without informing the higher officials. All group members should take turns using the restroom and not together. Doffers should not go to other departments without permission. Doffers should not spend time unnecessarily with others during working hours. During handover time, Doffers should notify the next shift Doffer of any important point before leaving from the machine. Ring frame with auto Doffer In auto Doff machines, Doffers must ensure that the Doff is taken by keeping a minimum of 20 mm clearance from the top of the cop. Doffers should ensure that grippers are available in all spindles. Doffers should ensure that all the full bobbins are removed and that only empty bobbins are loaded into all the spindles. In case of any emergencies and ring frames with auto doff, pull the emergency rope to stop the machine. While the auto doff is running, doffers must keep their hands away from doffing area. Doffers should stop the spindle only by applying the spindle brake. In auto doffing machines, trolleys must not be taken inside ring frame. Ring frame with single spindle monitor SSM. In ring frames with SSM, doffers must arrange to take doff as indicated by the machine station. Doffers must plan their doff sequence based on the display shown in the central TV monitor. Doffers should ensure that the average doffing time does not exceed the target time fixed by the management. In any ring frame, if startup brakes are higher, doffers must inform their superiors. While taking out the cops and ring frames with SSM, doffers must ensure that the SSM sensors are not disturbed. 